Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Wednesday, June the 3rd. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 3. The Object Continued Jesus calls those who would serve him to follow his example and choose for themselves the same path of, of renunciation and sacrifice. To those who hear and obey, he promises union with God. The object of the Society of St. Francis is to build a community of those who accept Christ as their Lord and Master and are dedicated to him in body and spirit. They surrender their lives to him and to the service of his people. The third order of the society consists of those who, while following the ordinary professions of life, feel called to dedicate their lives under a definite discipline of vows, under a definite discipline and vows. They may be male or female, married or single, ordained or lay. Merciful God, you have made your church rich through the poverty of Blessed Francis. Help us, like him, not to trust in earthly things, but to seek your heavenly gifts, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Spirit of the Lord renews the face of the earth. O come, let us worship. The Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The psalm appointed for this morning is a portion of Psalm 119, beginning at the 49th verse. Remember your word to your servant, because you have given me hope. This is my comfort in my trouble, that your promise gives me life. The proud have derided me cruelly, but I have not turned from your law. When I remember your judgments of old, O Lord, I take great comfort. I am filled with a burning rage because of the wicked who forsake your law. Your statutes have been like songs to me whenever I have lived as a stranger. I remember your name in the night, O Lord, and dwell upon your law. This is how it has been with me because I have kept your commandments. You are my only portion, O Lord. I have promised to keep your words. I entreat you with all my heart to be merciful to me according to your promise. I have considered my ways and turned my feet toward your decrees. I have hastened and do not tarry to keep your commandments. Though the cords of the wicked entangle me, I do not forget your law. At midnight, I will rise to give you thanks because of your righteous judgments. I am a companion of all who fear you and of those who keep your commandments. The earth, O Lord, is full of your love. Instruct me in your statutes. O Lord, you have dealt graciously with your servant according to your word. Teach me discernment and knowledge, for I have believed in your commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are good, and you bring forth good. Instruct me in your statutes. The proud have smeared me with lies, but I will keep your commandments with my whole heart. Their heart is gross and fat, but my delight is in your law. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is dearer to me than thousands in gold and silver. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. I'm sorry, according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
At that time, Herod, the ruler, heard reports about Jesus. And he said to his servants, Is this John the Baptist? Or this, this is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead. And for this reason, the powers are at work in him. For Herod had arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison on account of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because John had been telling him, It is not lawful for you to have her. Though Herod wanted to put him to death, he feared the crowd because they were regarded him as a prophet. But when Herod's birthday came, the daughter of Herodias danced before the company, and she pleased Herod so much that he promised on oath to grant her whatever she might ask. Prom uh, prompted by her mother, she said, Give me the head of John the Baptist here on a platter. The king was grieved, yet out of regard for his oaths and for the guests, he commanded it to be given. He sent and had John beheaded in the prison. The head was brought on a platter and given to the girl, who brought it to her mother. His disciples came and took the body and buried it. Then they went and told Jesus. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear and have mercy. We pray for all who confess the name of Christ. We pray this day for the church throughout the world, for the Anglican Communion, the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupert's Land, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. We pray also for our church leadership as they guide us through the troubled waters of this time. We pray for Bishop William, our assisting Bishop Larry, our Metropolitan Greg, our National Indigenous Archbishop Mark, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. Fill us with the power of your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear and have mercy. We pray for those whose lives are bound in mutual love and those who live in celibacy. We give thanks for the gift of marriage, for the coming together of two persons in mutual love. We pray for those who choose celibacy, for those in the world, for our brothers and sisters in religious orders, that their joy and their strength be their joy and their strength. Lord, hear and have mercy. For all in danger, for those who are far from home, prisoners, exiles, victims of oppression. Merciful God, we pray this day for those who are protesting the treatment of Mr. Floyd, protesting his death, protesting the racism, protesting the oppression. We pray for our First Nations brothers and sisters here in this country, 
who struggle every day for things that most of us take for granted. Grant them your salvation. Lord, hear and have mercy. For all who are facing trials and difficulties, for those who are sick and those who are dying, we continue our prayers for those afflicted with COVID-19, for their families and friends, for those in our hospital or our nursing homes, for those in palliative or hospice care. For those suffering from long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, isolation, poverty, or homelessness. Show them your kindness and your mercy. Lord, hear and have mercy. We pray for one another. We pray for those who are considered essential workers, those who have put their safety and their health at risk for others. We pray for first responders, police officers, firefighters, paramedics. We pray for our doctors, nurses and medical technicians, for scientists and researchers. We pray for social workers, mental health workers. In this community, we pray for Samaritan House, Helping Hands, um, Seventh Street Access, and the Bear Clan. May we always be united in service and love. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray to be forgiven our sins and set free from all hardship, distress, want, war, and injustice. We pray for the Sudan, Somalia, Yemen, Palestine, Israel, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq, and Iran, North and South Korea, Russia and the Ukraine. We continue our prayers for the United States as it struggles with injustice, with want. Lord, hear and have mercy. May we discover new and just ways of sharing the goods of the earth, struggling against exploitation, greed, or lack of concern. May we all live by the abundance of your mercies and find joy together. Lord, hear and have mercy. May we be strengthened by our communion with all Christ's saints. Lord, hear and have mercy. In our prayers for the Third Order, we pray today for the province of the Pacific, for the Solomon Island of Mecca and the Republic of Vanuatu, and for Cleveland, Mary, Walter, John, Joan, Fleming, Danny, Rick, Mario, Caroline, Barbara, Barbara, Julia, Claude, Dawn, John, Steve, Joy, and Ruth. God, we give you thanks for the third order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray that being in together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, who fulfilled the promise of Easter by sending us your Holy Spirit and opening to every race and nation the way of eternal life, Keep us in the unity of your spirit, that every tongue may tell of your glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 
And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May our blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May the Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace.